Today I want to talk to you about scale weight. Now scale weight is a huge topic because it is a misunderstood topic. Now when it comes to the journey of us wanting to lose body fat, it can be really easy for us to emotionally attach ourselves to the weight on the number when we're jumping on the scale each day. Now, if you've been weighing yourself each day, you're gonna see something that is continuously happening is happening is that the weight is not gonna continuously drop every single day in a linear fashion. You're gonna to start to see that it will fluctuate from day to day. Now, you need to know that this is only one piece of data that we need to look at the big picture, okay? So there are many reasons as to why our weight on the scale will fluctuate, but please understand that the, our progression of losing body fat is not the result of what's gonna show you on the scale, okay? So what I mean by that is that you're gonna see now, and I'm gonna break some things down for you to have a bit more of an understanding as to why we're not gonna be um, you know, dropping down our weight on the scale in a linear fashion every single day. So here you have the weight on our total body weight, right? And it comes and it's broken down into four compartments. So the first compartment we talk about is our fat compartment. Then we have a muscle compartment. Then we have a fluid compartment and a gut mass compartment. So what do these all mean, right? So we have a fat compartment, which would be you know, our body fat, right? And then we also have our muscle compartment, which is our you know, obviously our lean mass compartment. So what we want with this muscle is that we wanna continuously increase our muscle and build strength and be able to build the muscle because that's gonna help us build some shape for when we are losing body fat. So this one here, we want to increase because we're looking at trying to continuously build muscle. The fat compartment, obviously we want to get that to go down. So you can see straight away that we have a little bit of a, a variance there with one going down and one wanting to come up. All right, These two are a lot more permanent ones and these will start to change over time. Right, But then what we have is two other compartments in our bodies. One is a fluid compartment when it's a lot of like water retention, there can be blood flow, um, hormonal things as well. And then you've also got the gut mass. So all the, everything else that is made up inside your body, plus um, your bowel movements and things like that, you know, food, uh, leftover food, you know, with like how your digestion is as well. So these two things are changing constantly each day and it's go up and down, up and down, up and down. And you can see that these have the daily fluctuations. This is the transient uh, compartments and this is more of a permanent compartment here, the fat and muscle. So these two things here as to why we will go up and down on the scale. When we look at looking to lose body fat, if we're in a calorie deficit, it will continue to drop over time and a slow approach. If we're looking to build muscle, hopefully as well over time if we're training progressively, we haven't, we're still quite new into training, we can, uh, and we're eating a sufficient amount of protein as well, we can look at slowly trying to increase our muscle mass. But then these ones are always gonna change, okay? So that's the first part is that you need to understand that there are many reasons as to why that your, um, you know, your weight is changing on the scale each day, and it could be certain foods. So let's say for instance, you're having uh, a pizza, all right? Pizza is very high in sodium, it's also high in carbohydrates. So that will go into your system, and the carbohydrates will go in and it starts to act like water because it's, what happens is it goes in and it starts to turn into glycogen, which is gonna be used for energy. So that goes into your system. Then you can imagine you, you had an imaginary sponge in your system. The water hits the sponge and it can just stay there, right? Which then you jump on the scale the next day and you can see that your weight can increase, all right? That as well as the sodium, the sodium as well will also help, will make it increase because that's also gonna add and lead to water retention. So, but over time, in the next few days, it will start to decrease back down. But that is just got something to do with the fluid and gut mass, and then you can start to chop and change there, okay? Uh, a hormonal things as well, which we're gonna to touch on, like that is another part into it too. But just because the weight on the scale is not going down, or if it's going up, please don't let that be, uh, let you think it's an indication of your progress, because it is not. What we want to look at as more of an inter, um, a bit more of a direct um, measurement response would be looking at our measurements, looking at how we're feeling, how we're progressing with our training, how we're fitting in clothes, and also our visuals too with our photos. 
and you'll start to see certain changes will happen and very, very minimal over time. But those very, very minimal changes will add towards a bigger change over time. So please, I just want you to understand this because it is a very common thing to, because we are weighing ourselves daily, to get down on ourselves with what's going on the scale. But please understand this and just know that the weight on the scale is just your gravity. It's not measuring the body fat, how much fat that you've lost, okay? So please don't um, let that drag you down along this journey because if you do let that drag you down, it's gonna play a part into your motivation, your consistency, and your progression, okay? So we gotta look at other factors of where we're looking at progressing. So that, that's that part. Now, when it comes to stress as well, what happens is when we see something as a stress, all right, so a stress is something that what we perceive ourselves to be in a stressful situation. Now, an example would be um, dieting. Dieting is a stress on our body because we're not getting the sufficient amount of energy what, we, what our body needs to stay exactly the same. Our body wants to stay comfortable, but now we're eating less calories and we're, than we're, what we're burning to lose body fat our body is in a stressful situation. Now, when our body is in a stressful situation, it starts to release a hormone called cortisol. Now, because we're not getting enough uh, nutrients in our body to use as energy, well, our body will start to understand that and try and use different parts of in our body to use that as uh, energy. So what that does is the cortisol turns on and it starts to increase rapidly, which then will start to release a lot of water. So then that will help us keep moving. So that then leads to water retention. If we've got water retention, our weight can jump up on the scale. Another example would be, you know, the same thing as whatever you wanna see yourself as a stressful situation. Now that could be many things, like if you're tracking your nutrition right now and you know people wanna go out with you for dinner and you're like, I don't know what to do. How am I gonna be able to track my calories? Everything's going so well right now. What do I do? Or, you know, um, I, I don't know what to eat for this week. What am I going to eat? You know, that's another stressful situation. You're putting yourself into a stressful situation. Um, training. Training is actually a stress on the body as well because the body doesn't want, the body just wants to be in a comfortable state and not do much. So we're going into the gym and we're performing at higher rates. That's putting stress on our body. You know, moving all the time. Again, that's putting stressful situations on our body. So you can see that it starts to release hormones. Um, Okay, so the, another, um, another thing is that we've got the aldosterone hormone. Now that is also another part in terms of the cortisol and, and it kind of plays the same part. Now if you can imagine, you know, if we were uh, dehydrated. Now if we were dehydrated, what happens is in your system, certain receptors are switched on, all right, because it starts to understand, okay, so my body right now is, is dehydrated, I need to turn something on to be able to survive and that's what it's trying to do. So an uh, aldosterone hormone is then switched on, it then starts to find sodium in the body, and we have all have sodium in the body, and then it can look at being released when we're like in terms of urine, or it can be taken out from like our pancreas, right? So what that does then, it starts to release that to try and give ourselves, to keep ourselves hydrated. Now, what happens is when, when there's sodium, water will always follow, okay? Just always remember that. So when that does, when the aldosterone hormone is turned on, it releases and influences sodium spike to increase. And because the sodium is increased, then we also have our water retention and the water compartment or the fluid compartment can look at increasing, okay? Because we've got these daily things happening here. So that's another reason as to why the weight on the scale can go up. Now the last part in terms of is the hormonal balance. Now, obviously with everything going on in a female body as opposed to a, a male body, there's gonna be a lot more hormonal changes in a female. Now when we come into the menstrual cycle, you're gonna see that water retention will go up and down and you can see like in the middle of your menstrual cycle, you will the release the hormone with the estrogen will increase and when that increases, so does our water retention. Now, as you progress on into your cycle, um, we're gonna. What happens is then a hormone called progesterone starts to increase. Now, as that increases, water will decrease, and then what you'll find is then your weight on the scale can come down. Then we kind of get to the end of the cycle and restart the cycle again, and the progesterone hormone can actually go down, which means the water retention will spike back up, 
which then plays a part into this fluid compartment just here. So you can see that this, these compartments will continuously go up and down. And that's why the weight on the scale will always fluctuate, right? So what you wanna see with this, this weight on the scale, because it will hover and it will keep hovering, but you don't have to worry too much about that. Over time, what we wanna look at is the average coming down over time. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen over a couple of weeks or anything like that. For some people it may, but for most, uh, other, uh, most of us, it doesn't really do that. And it just hovers and it will eventually keep coming down because that's the end of the day. We have this permanent one of body fat. It will keep coming down, but these two are going up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's what the hovering does. So over time, we'll get our weight on the scale will come down, but it's going to continuously be like this. Okay. Now, the last part is I just want you to realize is that this number on the scale does not signify anything about you as a human being or your progression, okay? So imagine if you were looking great, you were fitting in smaller clothes, you're feeling more confident, you're feeling stronger in the, in the gym, you're visually seeing differences, you're getting compliments, but your weight on the scale stays the same. Are you really gonna be that upset about that? Probably not, right? So you need to realize that the weight, that number sitting there, has not got anything to do with you or your progression, okay? So you gotta find other ways to measure your progress because the weight on the scale is literally just one part of data, but the whole data is a whole picture, so it doesn't show you the whole story. So I hope that makes you uh, understand how the weight on the scale is, and please don't have an emotional attachment to this, this scale weight because it'll set you up um, for a bad time.